first thing we do is take the air chamber off. You'll need a 316 Allen key and a little bit of pipe. To get the air chamber off, I'll put two studs in. There's a handle, and if you find it's too hard to come off, two screwdrivers under the disc piston and lift the hole off. Like that. Take the studs out. And with a bit of soft material, a bit of wood or nylon. Tap it. Then you separated your disc piston from your Air chamber. Okay, we'll move that aside for a moment. The next thing we do, we'll take the cartridge out. Circuit out. With compressed there, I just cover the hole. If you haven't got compressed there, very gently with a pair of pliers, pull that up till you can get a screwdriver under your top of the cartridge, and that'll get it out. Yeah. Hub undone. Undo the lock nut. With an inch and a half socket. Big shifter. Remember the spigot sits inside that one. Yeah. The pulley's not going to come off easy, so what we do is take it out. Once you get a bit of soft material, a bit of wood or nylon. Like that. <laughs> to take the facing off, we'll need a 1 and key. Once again, a bit of pipe. Turns out. See the outer race, that's the way it went in, that's the way it's got to come back out. A lot of people make the mistake pushing this way and break the landing around there. So that's the way it's got to go. Don't lose it, you're moving for your new bearings.